Dear students, let me introduce you to the psychology of health that we have prepared together with my colleagues. This presentation is a brief guide in which I will try to introduce you to our goal and how we plan to achieve it. The aim of this course is to provide students with basic information in the field of health psychology, like the importance of psychological factors in maintaining good health, in disease prevention, in managing negative health conditions, in providing psychological assistance to patients during recovery, in coping with chronic disease, and in improving the provision of health services. We have the ambition to develop students' ability to work with professional literature, to create a knowledge base, but also their own opinions, attitudes to the problems in the field of health psychology and discuss them, as well as to apply the acquired knowledge in practice and present their proposals. Part of our plan is to develop the competence to work in a team, manage project work, resolve conflicts or problems. The education will be provided in hybrid format organized within LMS model. It means students will be navigated by model through instructions, lectures, quizzes, tests and assignments, but will meet on site on four seminars. The course is divided in four thematic blocks. A publicly available library of online lectures on the YouTube channel was created for students. Each block contains a series of three to four lecture recordings and teaching texts. Each lecture is followed by a quiz, a short ungraded test, in which students can check whether they have mastered the subject. In addition, we have prepared tasks for students to practice the subject matter. A library has been created for students in which they can find obligatory and recommended literature sources. We expect students to listen to lectures by the set deadline, study the given topic from available sources and complete the graded test by the given deadline. The students will use the knowledge gained in the given blocks when working out the assignments in teams, which they will present together in the seminars. The students will use the knowledge gained from the lectures, the study of literature and the work at the seminars in the preparation of an individual assignment of a critical essay, which they will prepare independently and submit by the set deadline. During the entire course, a forum will be available that is a place where you can write your questions, discuss, create chat groups. In each block of the course, you will find a description and a schedule at the beginning. At the end of each block, we ask students to fill in feedback. Please don't forget to select your working team and your team of SA till February 21st at midnight. Moodle will navigate you when each activity is open and when it's closed. The LMS Moodle module for this course will be open from, from the beginning of February till the end of May, but blocks and individual activities will open and close at specified intervals, so please check the dates in the module. In case that a specified activity is not available for you on the specified date you need it, please let us know. Please check access to the course and study the syllabus before starting the course. If you have any problem accessing the module, please let us know. In the first week of classes, you will have three obligations. Participate in the initial, initial information meeting, selection of the work team, and choosing of essay topic. The aim of the initial information meeting is to answer your question regarding the organization of the course, not to repeat information from the syllabus, and therefore it's very important that you have already go through the syllabus. You choose the work team and essay through a pool in the LMS module. There can be a maximum of five work teams and then a maximum of five and minimum of three students in each work team. Work teams cannot be changed during the semester and will be evaluated together to the, for the preparation and presentation of submitted assignments. During the duration of the survey, you can change your choice. After the survey is closed, it will no longer be possible. The pool will close on February 21st at midnight. Students who don't choose a group and work team will be divided into groups and teams by the lecturer. Students who don't choose the, their topic will be assigned it by the lecturer. The list of assigned topics will be published in the module. 
Participation in classes online as well as on-site is a necessary condition for passing the course without the right to award any points. You must be present during the entire lecture or seminar, join the lecture or seminar on time, actively participate in the teaching activities. Two absences per semester are allowed. In the event that you cannot attend the classes for serious reasons, notify the teacher as soon as possible by email. It's not possible to replace non-participation in another group, and it's also not possible to replace the assessment for activities carried out during the absence with other activities. We expect students to complete four blocks of online lectures on the specified dates, with each block ending with a separate test. Test dates are fixed and cannot be repeated or replaced. Each block will be followed by a seminar before which students will be given an assignment requiring both individual and teamwork, while the processing of the assignment, teamwork and active participation in the seminar will be evaluated. In addition, each student will be received an individual homework assignment of an essay, which they will process and submit independently. Students can earn additional points by completing tasks and completing feedback. Individual activities will be gradually opened and closed in the module, and only those uploaded by the specified deadline will be evaluated. Evaluation matrices uh, are developed for the evaluation of assignments and essays, which students can find in the Moodle. In the next part, we will introduce the individual blocks, topics of lectures and problem-based learning. The first block is dedicated to a healthy population and maintaining health. Dr. Filakowska will introduce you to different perspectives on health, what lay people and experts mean when they talk about health, but also to the social determinants of health. In the following lecture, Dr. Zalko and Dr. Kakovchakova will introduce you to the issue of health-related behavior, both health endangering and health promoting or preventive, and you will also learn something about how well we have our behavior under control. In the third lecture, uh, Professor Madrasa Vagetskova will introduce you to selective theories of change in health-related behavior and the ways in which they are used in health promotion programs. The topic of health promotion will be introduced to you by Associate Professor Gulish from the University of Esbjerg. In the second block, we will focus on stress and the burden associated with it, which contributes to the fact that we are more vulnerable to various diseases. Shoshana Chovan will introduce you to the theories and mechanisms related to the connection between stress and health, and Dr. Kadan Kulinsova to the various stress moderators, stress management strategies, and personality factors of our vulnerability or resistance to stress. And finally, Dr. Husarova will focus on social support, its connection with health and the mobilization of social support. The third block is dedicated to the situation when they are sick, either acutely or for a long time. In the first lecture, we will talk about the perception of symptoms and seeking health care, but also about the social models of health or disability. In the second lecture, Dr. Skolmalova will guide you through the world of the patients suffering from chronic disease and will focus on quality of life. Dr. Zalko will introduce you to complementary, alternative and integrative medicine in patient care and Dr. Kolarczyk to the issue of health literacy. The fourth block of lectures is devoted to provision of health care. The availability and responsiveness of health service system is a key factor and will be introduced to you by Dr. Filakowska. Medical competencies, medical consultation, as well as various types of doctor-patient relationships will be presented in the next lecture by Professor Madarasova Getskova, which will be followed by a lecture by Veronika Pachutova on patient safety, adverse events in the provision of healthcare and possible impacts. The course will also include an online meeting with an expert who will present an existing intervention using knowledge from the field of health psychology aimed at supporting physical or mental health, improving disease management or healthcare provision. Each block includes three tasks, instructions for them, forms for completing the task and deadlines for a submission. The, the development of the task for a given block is only possible until the specified deadline. You can find a set of questions at the end of each chapter and after each lecture, a quiz will be generated for you in a Moodle in which you can verify your knowledge. 
At the end of the each block, there is a deadline and a time window during which we expect you to complete the graded test. It's not possible to repeat or substitute test. Based on the lectures, further study of the literature, routine statistical databases and other available resources, students in the work team will develop a joint assignment according to the instruction given in the relevant block of the LMS Moodle module. Uh, prepared assignments will be uploaded to the system by the specified date and its content will be presented at the seminar on the specified date, no later than the Sunday before the seminar. Within the thematic focus, uh, five different tasks will be always prepared. Each work team choose one of the offered assignment topics, A, B, C, or D, or E. The topic cannot be repeated within one group of students and will be automatically assigned to, to the work team that marked it first. If the work team select more topics or a topic that has already been chosen by another work team of its group, it will be penalized by losing three points from the evaluation of the assignment. If the work team does not mark any topic by the assignment submission deadline, it will not be able to be evaluated. The work team will determine the method of meeting, mutual communication, the time schedule and the distribution of subtasks when working out the assignment. Developing competencies for group work, project work, communication and presentation is our goal and therefore we expect students to report at seminars on how they manage to fulfill these goals or to consult on possible difficulties. We expect that each student will actively present the content of the completed assignment at least once. If the work team decides to present together, each student must have a reasonable active share in the presentation. Work teams will work together during the semester to prepare an assignment for each block. In the case of the first block, they will have the opportunity to revise the proposal based on feedback and present its revised version, which will be evaluated. Participation in the seminar is mandatory and cannot be replaced at another date. Excused absences are of course possible, but it's necessary to ensure that the work team is able to work on the assignment and the present the content of the assignment even in case of an in individual physical absence of a member or to ensure online communication. Structure and form of the completed assignment. We expect the completed assignment to adhere to the specified structure, content, form and scope. Completed task, uh, e.g. the proposal for solving a problem task, can be focused on the population, population groups, individual clients, possibly healthcare workers, or the system of providing care. It can be a one-time activity, a series of activities, a training, a campaign, recommendation, proposal for change, but it must. Reflect on the topic of the block and assignments. Have a clearly defined goal and target group. Identify the problem and opportunity for improvement. Describe and theoretically support the proposed solution. Develop and describe a method of involving key players, accessibility, sustainability, and evaluation of effectiveness of the proposal. In the first part, the work teams present the aim and the target group. So it will describe what area they plan to focus on, what they want to improve, and what population or population group they want to focus on, who do they want to improve it for? For example, we plan to focus on the area of resilience support for health professionals. In the second part, the work team will justify its choice. That is, it will describe the problem and the opportunity for change. For example, almost every healthcare professional became a secondary victim during their professional career, and up to two-thirds can avoid other psychological effects through appropriate peer support programs in the workplace. However, such programs don't exist in our country, but it would be possible to create them on the basis of examples of good practice from abroad. However, the claims must be substantiated by evidence from the literature, data from routine databases and or surveys. In the third part, the team should briefly describe their proposed solutions and justify it, theoretically support it. Why should this method work? What psychological principles, theories, mechanism do you rally on and use in your interventions? What will be the format? What and how will happen? Time duration, steps necessary for preparation, realization, implementation. It will be a campaign leaflet, development of recommendations, web portal, training program. What and how will happen? Time duration, steps necessary for preparation, realization and implementation.
When evaluating participation, try to identify who you need to consult with, who you need to involve in the preparation of the project, but also in the implementation, so that you can be sure that your proposal will meet the needs, will be available, will be acceptable, and those who will benefit from it, they need most, uh, but also that it will be feasible, whose support is required to successful implementation. Think about how you will facilitate the participation of key players in the individual stages of the preparation and implementation of your solution. When evaluating accessibility, we highly recommend starting from Tanashi Graph and analyzing in the team, discussing to whom the intervention will or will not be offered, available or unavailable, for whom it will or will not be acceptable, and who will or will not benefit from it and why. Also, think about how this availability will be monitored, what indicators could be used for this, or whether you will also focus on increasing its availability, and if so, how. When evaluating sustainability, consider what material, personal, and financial capacities your proposal will require for implementation, and what would be required for its maintenance or expansion. When evaluating effectiveness, consider your goal and determine the measurable indicators of its fulfillment and the way to monitor them. The work team can choose the form of presentation of the content of the completed assignments. You can prepare a poster, PowerPoint presentation, practical demonstration, and does not have to use any of the mentioned forms and prepare only to answer questions. The presentation of the content of the completed assignments will be interactive, accompanied by a discussion, and each work team will have at least 12 minutes at their disposal, including interactive inputs to each part of the assignment. We highly recommend min minimizing monologue entries and striving for a brief and conscious presentation of the content of the complete, uh, completed assignments. The completed assignment, the presentation of its content and the defense will be evaluated using the evaluation metrics. An assignment that does not correspond to the chosen topic or does not follow the structure will not be presented during seminar uploaded to the system on the specified date will not be evaluated. Students will use the knowledge and experience gained from the lecture, studying literature and working on problem-based learning when writing a critical essay. We expect them to look for relevant professional resources uh, that present different interpretations or attitudes toward the psychological concept or phenomenon, and based on them, they will formulate arguments and confront different interpretations in the context of the chosen topic. Students must choose the topic of the essay in the survey by February 21st, or they will assign uh, an unoccupied topic from the list in the survey. They will prepare the essay independently and upload it in, in, into the system uh, till May 7th. Prepar uh, papers uh, that, are, that are not critical essays or don't correspond uh, to the chosen topic will not be recognized. It will be evaluated, submission of the essay with a specific deadline and scope, a logical structure of the text, uh, presentation of the problem in the introduction, the core divided into paragraphs that follow each other, a summary summarizing the arguments and leading to the conclusions, whether the author rely on professional literature, use evidence and arguments, and whether the author uh, brings uh, his or her point of view, reflect on the program, offers and interpretations, evaluations and suggestions. At the end of each block, there is an opportunity to fill in uh, anonymous feedback, and the completion of this task is rewarded. Moodle allows you to record an activity and assign a point without linking it to a specific assessment. Filling in feedback for a given block is possible only by the specified deadline. And finally, uh, this is our recommended uh, literature sources, and I wish all of us that this course will be a pleasant and useful time spent and will fulfill its purpose.